Brent, Sarah, both Mayor Elliker and Senator Murphy using their platforms to remind people COVID-19 is still around and is still making people sick. But now a push for more federal funding, as some are concerned, cases are increasing while resources might be unavailable. We're climbing and I don't know where the top is, but it's not like previous years, but it's definitely enough for people to take caution. Hospitals across the state are seeing more patients with COVID-19, about 15 percent more in the last week. There's probably a lot more sniffles and runny noses out there that are not coming to the hospital. Some of those runny noses, Connecticut officials and lawmakers like New Haven Mayor Justin Elliker and U.S. Senator Chris Murphy. Murphy canceling a scheduled event Wednesday with a morning tweet saying he, quote, started getting some mild COVID symptoms last Last night, I tested this morning and I'm positive. So bummed. Murphy writing, quote, it's a reminder for us all that COVID is still out there. While my symptoms are mild, this remains a bad virus. It's still important to test if you're feeling symptoms and quarantine if you're positive. That message one doctor say people need to keep in mind. If you're sick, don't get other people sick. And when you're indoors, you should really consider masking, especially time such as now where there may be an increase. But after a summer of what feels like returning to normal, many residents confused about where to access other resources like testing and vaccinations. The problem is what is covered and what is not covered. So what may have been free in the past is not necessarily free. Dr. Wu says people can still get tests over the counter at urgent cares or their primary care practitioners. But some federal lawmakers say more needs to be done to keep these services free. Rising number of cases I hope will speak more loudly and persuasively than my words to provide specific dollars. And another way to prevent severe and illness, vaccinations. Dr. Wu recommending people continue getting regular boosters, likely annually, like your flu shot and COVID-19 vaccinations still fully covered by most insurance and free through funding set aside by the Biden administration for uninsured Americans. Brent, Sarah.